Would you mind seeing me to the door? Of course not. It's a good place for making friends. You said this afternoon your husband was mixed up in something. How do you shave in there? What was it? What was what? What your husband was mixed up in. Look, I know it's asking you to stretch your imagination, but don't you think you could pretend just for a moment that I'm a woman? Now listen, I could already be arrested for transporting a minor above the first floor. Here you are. Where? On the street where you live. How about once more around the park? How about getting out of here? Come on, child, out. Won't you come in for a minute? No, I won't. I don't bite, you know. Unless it's called for. How would you like a spanking? How'd you like a punch in the nose? Stop treating me like a child. Well, then stop behaving like one. Now, if you want to tell me what's troubling you, fine. If not, I'm tired, it's late, and I want to go home to bed. Oh. Do you know what's wrong with you? No, what? Nothing. Who is it? It's me, Peter. There was no trace of him. Why don't you confide in me and tell me what this is all about? There are three men. He's one of them. They think I have a quarter of a million dollars that belongs to them. Go on. That's all. No, it isn't. Where's the money? I don't know. They killed Charles to get it, but he must not have had it with him on the train. So they think he left it with you? But he didn't. I've looked everywhere, and if I don't find it, they're going to kill me. No, they won't. I won't let them. Help me, you're the only one I can trust. I'll help you. I told you I would. Come on. Oh, I'm so hungry, I could faint. And I've gotten your suit all wet. That's all right, it's a drip dry. Wipe your eyes. Promise me you'll never lie to me the way Charles did. Why do people have to tell lies? Usually it's because they want something. They're afraid the truth won't get it for them. You tell lies. 